Hey, it's another day in this adventure. God is leading us. He has not abandoned us. It's been an amazing week. All sorts of expressions of breakthrough around us. On Monday, we had a blood drive on campus, and it filled up in two hours. There's a desperate need for that, so thank you. Many of you gave. You know, people say, all church wants is my money. That's not true. We want your blood, too. <laughs> Yesterday, we had a food drive in four hours, which is a drive through food drive. In four hours, we collected almost 7,000 pounds of food. Thank you. There was a 20-minute line. It looked like a parade in the parking lot with people bringing the food to, to help others that needed it in this season. Uh, the, the numbers coming back from across the country were better than expected yesterday. Um, the hospitalization rates are going down. The death rates are lower than they've expected. God is moving. It's in response to what you've been doing, what we've been doing together. I've been pushing you a bit. I've written battle plans. I've invited you to pray every hour on the hour. I've challenged you to read your Bible in greater depth, to turn your faces to the Lord, to humble yourselves, to repent. This is not a time to be static. If you're a skeptic or you're indifferent or you're sitting on the fence, for heaven's sakes, move. If not now, when? But in the face of all of that, we've been leaning forward into this, this pretty intently. I want to make a suggestion today. I don't ever want you to lose sight of something. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Folks, this isn't about what we do. We're not going to work our way through this or earn our way to the blessings of God. The efforts I've been inviting you towards are not a merit system to try to qualify for the blessings of God. It's to shake ourselves a bit to realize how casual we had become, how indifferent to the Lord. The reality is our future is secured because we have a shepherd who never slumbers nor sleeps. You know, Jesus gathered his closest friends before he was start to begin Passion Week. We're in the middle of Holy Week now when Jesus suffered so much. And he said, my peace I give to you. In the world you're going to have trouble, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Uh, Jesus' life was not absent conflict. He faced lots of conflict, but he was never threatened by it. And you and I are going to face some conflict in the season ahead. But there's a shepherd who watches over us that never slumbers nor sleeps, and he's given us his peace. So I want to encourage you today, while we continue to lean in, we're going to say our prayers, we're going to read our Bible, we're working through the book of Acts. We trust the one who watches over us. We don't have to be afraid or frightened or threatened or intimidated. Our God is able. You're making a difference in this season. You're changing our community, you're impacting our nation, and you're encouraging the body of Christ around the world. Don't you give up, and I'll see you tomorrow.